Welcome to our short Bible study and for today let's talk about the humility of St. John the Baptist and the pride of Lucifer. The continuation of the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. He who has the bride is the bridegroom. The friend of the bridegroom who stands and hears him rejoices greatly with joy because of the bridegroom's voice. This my joy, therefore, is fulfilled. He must increase, but I must decrease. Thanks be to God. St. John the Beloved in his Gospel and in the book of Revelation revealed to us the divinity of Jesus. He used titles for Christ that are reserved for God. The I Am, the First and the Last, the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega. And St. John the Baptist called or revealed Jesus as the Bridegroom, which also confirms the divinity of Christ. For God is the Bridegroom of Israel, of all Christians. From the book of Isaiah the prophet and from the prophecy of Safari, the father of St. John the Baptist, St. John the Baptist will be called the Prophet of the Most High, and horn of salvation to us, because he will go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways. So St. John the Baptist is calling, baptizing the people, calling them to marriage, to the marriage supper of the Lamb. He is preparing the people. He is preparing the bride for the bridegroom. He is reminding us of our sinful nature, that we may humble ourselves, that we may repent, that we may be able to serve the Godhead. And where did the marriage begin? In the Garden of Eden with Adam and Eve. In the book of Ezekiel, Lucifer is the highest angel. He is closest to God. Lucifer or Luciferium means the light bringer or the light bearer the morning star. By his status and by his name, we can say that he is the best man of Yahweh, of God in the Garden of Eden. His job is to prepare Adam and Eve, to make them ready for God, to wash them by the waters in the Garden of Eden. But because of his pride, he don't like to serve God. He don't like to serve God and his creation. He wanted to be God. He wanted to be the Godhead. He deceived Adam and Eve. But now we have St. John the Baptist, who humbled himself for God. He humbled himself for the bride. He became a holy martyr for the Holy Gospel. For us, with his humility, he got beheaded. He surrendered and offered his love to the Godhead. In the Jewish wedding, the friend of the bridegroom must blow the shofar or the trumpet to make sure the bride is ready, prepared for her groom. If in the Gospel of St. John the Beloved, St. John the Baptist rejoices because of the bridegroom's voice, because of Jesus. In the Gospel of St. Luke, St. John the Baptist rejoices because of the voice of the bride, because of the voice of Mary. He leaped for joy. Therefore we can say, those who do not have the bride, they don't have the bridegroom. Those who do not have the Blessed Virgin Mary, they don't have the bridegroom Jesus. Let's ask the intercession of St. John the Baptist before the throne of God for the graces to have a good confession, graces to have humility, and especially that God may bring more people to the waters of salvation. To Jesus, through the Blessed Virgin Mary. Amen.